Hello and welcome back to 316 Minecraft. Um, I thought you might appreciate another quick tutorial on how to kind of daisy chain chests into each other because that's what I need to do. I've taken out the um, decking area that was up here. Uh, that's the chest that leads from the top of the new glass item elevator. Very exciting. And that, this is the back of the uh, output chest which is in our storage room. Now that already daisy chains into another chest actually. Um, by the way, you may wonder why I've got an upturned uh, stair there. Let me show you. The reason... Oh, did that just go into there? Probably. The reason for that is that if I don't use um, a, a non-solid block there, then the chest won't open. So I somehow need to get down from up there to down here. Now, what I also want to do is put in a fair bit of, kind of, you know, room for stuff to... Uh, and stuff to overflow because I had a problem last time whereby everything backed up and the elevator broke. So, what I could do with is a crafting table, and I think I'll probably just grab one from here and take it outside, given that it's quite a nice day. So, let's have a look. Crafting table, uh, you can go precisely there. So, the first thing I need to make is some hoppers. I have actually got some blocks of iron here so I'll turn that back into iron. it's a good way of storing your iron if you've got anything like iron or gold turn it into blocks and it stores nine times more efficiently now can I remember how to make a hopper well, I'm gonna need a few of these so I think it's one two three four five three four five there we go so I'll put some chests in there as well there we go hopper I should get seven hoppers out of that, that's probably slightly too many. Um, it also means that I probably haven't got quite enough in the way of um, chests now, because I think I've probably only got two spare chests, so I think I might mine a few trees. I need to be slightly careful in here because it's quite dark. It's a bit like those roofed forests, and I think things have a habit of spawning. I want 16 wood, I think. That should get me a few chests. I know there were different types of trees here, that's quite cool. Oh, this bit's a bit scary. How many wood have I got? I've got nine oak, twelve oak, thirteen. 15, 16. Marvellous, that will do for now. And you know what? Also going to stick a torch in here. Yes, I'm back on the shaders, I just can't resist. Okay, let's have a look. Back to the crafting table. Let's turn that into 64 wood. Let's turn that into 8 chests. Now I should have 10. Right, is it starting to go dark? I perhaps need to check this. We're going dark? Oh yeah, we will be doing it in a minute, so I need to just watch that. If there's any I haven't now, I'm going to a quick route upstairs. So what I now want to do is place another chest, which could be a bit interesting because I haven't got a block in which to place it against. Um, Block, chest, chest, oh, that's not right, let's go from this side of that, chest, what's in that chest? Oh, cobblestone, that's nice, I think we might even think about going to bed. Can I get up there? I get on there, I get up there, and get over there, go all the way over here, I can jump over there. I can go in my balcony window. It would have been quicker to walk up the stairs, but I just like to do things the hard way. And there we go. Night time. Alrighty, so let's go back out the quick way. That wasn't very quick. This is the quick way. Ow. 
So I've now got two chests. So basically what I need to do is get my hoppers. Hoppers, there we go. Shift click, hold down shift or you'll open the chest. Shift right click. I should drain anything from that hopper into this one. Now what I'm also going to do, which may seem slightly wasteful, is put a second hopper in there. You don't strictly need that, but it should double the rate at which things flow. So if ever I decide to double the rate at which things flow in, then I'll be ready. So let's see if this is going to work out. Place another one there. Place another one there. Place another one there. Yeah, that'll be alright. Um, let's have two more chests. There's one. So we need to pull the same trick with that. Uh, hopper, shift click. Shift click. I'm going to run out of hoppers again. But that's okay. Hoppers do take up an awful lot of... Uh, stuff don't they let's create another chest there we'll do the same thing again with hoppers shift click shift click I don't I know you're all gonna tell me I'm wasting hoppers and I don't need to but it's just nice okay because at some point we're going to expand this. In fact, I'm not going to bother with another, another chest here. We don't really need it. Um, I just need to put... How many hoppers have I got left? Oh, not quite enough. Well, in that case, we'll go to the storage room. We've got enough chests to do it, I think. Go and get some more of our hard-earned iron. I'll make a couple more... One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. This is why hoppers are expensive because they take five iron. Okay, should now have three hoppers and two chests, which is just perfect. So we'll go back outside. And go back down here. Bit tight around here. Uh, where are we going to fit the other chest? Actually, no, what we can do, I'm sure we need all those hoppers now. Oh, chest, chest, yes, we do. Okay, I can't actually get to that, so I'm going to just take some of those blocks away. I'm going to maybe put a block back. Otherwise, it might be a little bit dangerous and we might fall off. No. Not there, you muppet. Where's my dirt gone? There we go. I'm just going to put a torch in there so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is going to be trickier than I thought. I should be able to shift click. Place a hopper into there, shift click, place a hopper into there. Right. So that all looks rather complicated, but that should work. So hopefully, let's test this quickly. Oh that's good, I can jump up, jump up again. So let's just put an item into this. I'm gonna put my compass into this top hopper. It should make its way down into the storage chest. Where are we from my own? There's the compass. Brilliant. So I'm actually quite happy about that. Let's go and examine our handiwork. That's just a quick tutorial on how to uh, expand your storage system basically. So just to run over, that stuff comes up, the item elevator here, hits that hopper, um, ends up in this air, this air block. Can you see the air block above that hopper? About there. Um, it comes into that, goes into the next hopper, filters into this chest, filters into these either of these hoppers, this chest, this chest, this chest, that chest. There's also another chest under here, which leads into the 
yet another chest in oh actually I think that is maybe is the last is it the last chest? Let's have a look. I don't quite know what this is doing here. I can't see. No, I think there is another chest. No, there is another chest it filters into. Yes. Okay, so I was right. Don't tell the wife. She thinks I'm wrong all the time. Um, perfect. And if we wanted to cover that up, we could do it with a cobblestone half slab or any other sort of half slab. And that should still work. If you put a whole slab over there, by the way, it's not going to work. What's in this chest? I've already had this conversation. Right, so basically you can use that same principle to expand any sort of storage. And if you're really clever, you can add a whole, um, whole kind of filter system, which I'm sure I'll be covering in an episode very soon. So you can basically put a random mixed chest full of items in there and it'll all sort itself out. So, yes, that is about all we've got time for. Get my F5 sorted out. There we go. Perfect. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was useful to somebody wanting to expand their storage. Um, we will see you again in the next episode. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like. It would be fantastic if you subscribe. It would be even better if you would tell all of your friends. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye.